guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm making a cooking video today. I'm cooking a keto sheet pan pizza, which I've never made before. I thought I would show you guys how to make it and show you how my blood sugars react to it after I eat it. I'm really hoping this pizza recipe is good and easy on the blood sugars because we all know that pizza is so hard to bolus for. So, fingers crossed. Um, all right, so I'm gonna make the dough a while. So I've got all of my ingredients out in front of me. Two tablespoons of cream cheese, and I'm reading this to the side, so sorry if I'm not looking directly at you. Two tablespoons of cream cheese, one cup of almond flour, a cup and a half of shredded mozzarella, a fourth cup of grated Parmesan. None of this is freshly grated, by the way. Sorry. Two eggs and a half a pound of sweet Italian sausage removed from the casing. So I'm gonna do that. I need to get a mixing bowl out and mix all of this together. One cup of almond flour. Fourth cup of coconut flour. Mozzarella. Fourth cup of Parmesan. Okay, we're just putting all this in for one tablespoon. And another one. And then I need to chop the sausage up. This is sweet Italian sausage. Uh, remove it from the casing, put it in here, and then I'll add the two eggs. Now that everything is in the bowl, all the ingredients for the dough, I'm gonna use my Wonderful blue hand mixer and mix it all up. Hopefully this turns out okay. The dough is all mixed up now. I think I maybe was supposed to like break the meat up into a little bit of like smaller chunks, but we're gonna go with it and it's, it's just gonna be the way that it goes. So um, I'm gonna put this in the fridge for 30 minutes now, let it cool and then put it in the oven. It does smell really good, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, whatever, it'll be fine. Uh, I'm not a pro chef, I'm just hanging out. So now I'm going to preheat the oven to 375 because you have to cook the crust before you cook, like, put the rest of the stuff on it, so I'm gonna do that. While my crust is cooling in the refrigerator, I'm going to chop up some of the fresh vegetables that I'm gonna saute before I put on like the topping. So we've got some spinach, chopped onion, which I'm not using all that, I'm only using a tiny bit, and a pepper. Later, I'm gonna need ingredients like pizza sauce, more mozzarella, of course. Um, I will leave the link below for where I got this recipe. I got it off of Pinterest from a website called allfamilyfeast.com. I'm really hoping this turns out good. I'm a little nervous because, well, I just am. <laughs> we'll see how this goes though. So I'm gonna be using this pan as my sheet pan. I'm a little nervous. It's clean, I promise, doesn't look clean, but it is. I'm a little nervous that it's not deep enough, but we'll make do. And if it spills over, it spills over. I'll just clean my oven later. Also, please keep in mind while you're watching this, I'm not a professional chef, so if my like cutting skills are not up to par, I'm not a professional. Don't forget. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna actually put cooking spray on this. Um, I'm gonna use avocado oil. I have avocado oil in like a spray form. I use it in my air fryer. Wow, it's really close. I use it in my air fryer all the time. So I'm gonna spray this on it. And then I'll push the mixture that's cooling into here. And then I'm supposed to put it in the oven for 12 minutes. And then while that's baking, I'll like saute up all of this stuff. And then, and then hopefully we'll have sheet pan pizza. My timer has gone off for my dough, my sketchy dough. And my oven is preheated, so 
let's <laughs> let's try this. Um, I need to spray my pan. I'm gonna do that and then put this in there. I really hope this turns out good. I'm like really hungry for pizza right now. Here we are. <laughs> I have to put this in the oven for 12 minutes now, and then during that 12 minutes, I'm gonna start sauteing up all my spinach, onions, and red pepper. So, here we go. So as far as sauteing everything goes, I already have a tablespoon of olive oil in my pan. I just need to now heat that up, get some garlic out, and transfer everything to the pan. So that is done. My toppings are done cooking. I have my cheddar out and my mozzarella that I'm gonna put on top. I also have my, this is marinara sauce, but pizza sauce. Um, a half a cup of this ready to go. So when that comes out of the oven, which it should in like three minutes, I can put everything on it and stick it back in. I'm very excited. When I turned it around, it did smell really good. So I'm hopeful. Also, look at this great oven mitt that a friend got me for my birthday. Get ready to unbutton your pants. <laughs> Seriously though, get ready to unbutton your pants, guys. I just opened the oven a little bit and it does smell like a pizza crust, so. Oh, I'm excited. I feel like this is gonna be fine. It's gonna turn out great. I just, next time I make this, need to make sure the meat is like in a little bit of smaller pieces. We'll let it slide. So it's all done. I just need to put it in the oven for 25 minutes. I'm actually gonna put it in for like a little bit longer because I'm gonna broil it at the end so the cheese gets nice and like brown and crispy. So here we go. There's about eight minutes left on the timer. I'm just gonna turn the oven on broil to like get the cheese really crispy. Um, it's turning brown right now though, so I'm not gonna do it quite yet. But I am gonna take insulin now. Uh, let me see. The website said per slice, and there should be like eight, well, I'm really close. There should be like eight slices, um, eight slices. There's like 13 carbs. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take 40. Um, I'm at 140 right now. No, sorry, I'm 145 right now. So right before dinner. So I'm gonna take 40 carbs, and that'll be my little pre-bolus. I'll give you guys a sneak peek of what it looks like, because it looks really good. This looks so good. I'm gonna get my pizza cutter, which I have out on the counter, so I'm not really getting it. Bing! And I'm gonna cut it, and I'm gonna eat it. And by the way, I didn't even end up um, broiling it because the cheese is like perfectly brown. So I was like, I don't even need to broil it. So this looks absolutely insane. I'm so excited to eat it. I have two slices for myself on my plate right now. Um, just for the record, because I'm gonna tell you guys what my blood sugar is like a couple hours after I eat. 145 right now. I did check the temperature of the meat. I have like a meat thermometer, because I was nervous that it wasn't done, but it's saying that it should be a good temperature to eat, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with it. I'll let you know how it tastes. Okay, first taste test. I also like to say the crust is thicker than I thought it would be. Yeah, this is pretty good. It's actually super good. <laughs> cool! Yay, I'm so excited! Okay, I'm gonna keep eating. And then it's 7.30 right now. I'll let you guys know what my blood sugar is in an hour. 
I'll let you guys know in two hours what it is. Maybe three. We'll see how we're feeling after that. I just want to say I just finished eating. I ended up eating three pieces. I originally put two on my plate, but I went back for one more. I'm really full now. So I'm hoping I don't need to take more insulin. I took a little more than I said I was going to. I ended up taking, um, oh, I did 50. So maybe I'm okay. But I also didn't really pre-bowl. I don't know. You never know. We'll see. I'm going to put the rest of the pizza in the fridge so I can eat it for lunch tomorrow. And then we'll see if I need to take more insulin in a little bit. Hopefully not though. It's 8.30 now, an hour after I've eaten. My blood sugar is 99. Just missed a unicorn, so sad. But I'm going down from where I was when I started eating, so I'm not going up, which I'm really happy about. Keto pizza, I think, was a success. But we'll see at hour two. I don't wanna jinx myself, knock on wood. Um, so I will check in with you guys in another hour to tell you what my blood sugar is. It is 9.30 now. I am still cruising. 77 now, haven't spiked at all. I'm honestly kind of going low. So I'm interested to see if I will spike at all. I'm not hungry either, which is really good. Usually around this time I get like a little hungry for a snack. So I'm really happy with that. I really like this pizza. I definitely think I'm gonna make it again. Um, I'm gonna probably check again one more time at 10.30, just like three hour mark. Maybe 11.30 if I'm still awake, but I honestly will probably be asleep. But I'm gonna see if I spike at all. Usually this is around the time uh, when you eat pizza that you start to spike because it has like the slow absorption. I couldn't remember what word I was trying to find. So I'll check back in with you again in an hour. It is after 10.30 now, I'm 86 and coasting. So happy with that number, I almost kind of can't believe it. I haven't taken any more insulin, haven't eaten anything, haven't, I haven't done anything. I've been chilling on the couch watching Jersey Shore. So I would say the keto pizza was a big success. Very excited about that. I'm gonna end the video here, um, cause it is kinda late and go to bed soon. Let me know if you want me to do more cooking videos in the future, I definitely think I'm going to. I was actually thinking of doing like a paleo brownie video in soon coming up, let me know. I've made them before, they're really, really good and like relatively healthy for you for brownies. So definitely think about that, but let me know any other kind of videos you guys would wanna see. Um, we're still in isolation and the whole COVID-19 craziness. So anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, turn on the notifications button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.